Hey guys, and welcome to the GCN. No, I'm just kidding. So yeah, today we're gonna we're gonna go through the Elmhurst crit. So this was day eight of Intelligentsia Cup, and just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be talking about the the crit in four corners. So we just went through turn one, which you can see at the top right corner in the map. That little orange dot, when it's in that bottom right hand corner, that'll be turn one. And then the turn coming up at the bottom left, that's going to be turn two and so on. So this course, you know, it had it had pretty good pavement. Only the the stretch after turn two is kind of kind of rough. Um, and there was there was some uh, manhole covers in this in this chicane area right there. But it, it really wasn't or at least it shouldn't have been too bad of an issue. So coming out of this turn, if you take it, if you took it wide, you, you run into this like rough patch, which on video, it doesn't look that bad, but after like a bunch of laps, it, it really gets kind of annoying and just like saps the power out of your legs. And to make it worse, there was like a manhole cover in the middle of the road. And when guys would take the, the corner, they'd go left and then pull over to the right. So to stay in the draft, you'd had to like nosedive into this hole and it just i don't know why but i couldn't stop avoiding it this whole race coming out of this next turn we really we really start to pick up the pace so this this is a section we are really just hammering it you can see in a couple seconds we get up to like 33 miles per hour so we're you know we're really stringing it out guys are putting in early efforts to try to you know pop any of the weaker guys off the back that may have to have sprinted out of that corner and really the worst corner for me was either that turn two corner or this turn four corner because out of turn four, it was really just like a full out sprint. Um, it was a slight uphill drag and it wasn't, I mean, this corner is not super wide, but it's really not that big of an issue, but you can see, you know, I'm hitting a thousand watt, a thousand Watts out of there. So yeah, it was really strung out going 28 miles per hour on this little uphill. And that's what a full lap of the Elmhurst crit looks like. So once we got to the next lap, this little chicane, so this is lap three, you could see a couple guys just slide out right there. I don't know if they hit that manhole cover or they just, you know, rubbed wheels or what, but that was really weird. But then coming around for lap four now, there's another crash there, same spot, a couple more guys go down. And that was just, it was just crazy that there's two crashes in two laps. So now I just want to show you guys a little bit how I was moving up in the race. I, like I said, I wasn't feeling great. So I really had to be like tactically aware in this race of how to move up. So you can see my power is only, you know, 200 Watts, 250 Watts. 150 watts and I'm moving up like 10 spots because uh, we were really sitting up at this point. So it was a good time to move up. But yeah, like I said, I wasn't feeling super great and I ended up realizing my brake was like slightly rubbing. So I don't know if that was why, but whatever. But here again, you can see on the uphill, we're not going super hard this time, but just following wheels, this guy's pulling me right up to the front and make up a couple spots right here with only, you know, sitting on his wheel at 150 watts. So it's a good way to, you know, just got to be a little bit aware of like who's trying to move up and then just follow them because then, you know, they'll bring you to the front and it's, you know, you don't have to do a lot, whole lot of work. Going into this part, again, I'm moving up a little bit when everyone's sitting up. And as soon as I do this, this guy jumps. And this is a really popular attack is just get a little bit of distance between you before the corner. And then just try to, you know, take the corner really hot and then just smash it again out of the corner. So now they have a decent gap. And I'm I'm looking at them thinking maybe I should go, but then they start attacking each other. So I'm like, all right, this isn't working. And I think everyone else realized that too. So they start, you know, you know, bringing it back, um, attacking and just putting down a lot of power to try to bring these two guys back. And that was also the first move that was made in this race. So one thing about bike racing is it's usually not the first move that, that, you know, is the, is the move. I mean, sometimes it is, but really it's like the second or third move that really is, you know, 
the winner, the winning move. So I'm like, I'm hurting at this point. Like my legs are not working. So I'm leaving a little bit of gap. Guys are coming in front of me. And this is when it starts to get a little bit, a little bit dangerous when you have guys like, like me at this point opening up that gap. But luckily I'm, you know, smart enough that I'm just going to take this turn super hot. And I just close that gap because those guys, you know, they had to hit, touch the brakes a little bit where I didn't, but now you, you got more attacks going. This guy in the green and black kit is sitting up. So, you know, you have like five or six guys and everyone's seeing this now and it's, you know, it's dangerous that they're up the road. So everyone's going to chase this down. And once we get through this chicane on the back stretch is when, you know, the actual winning move is made. So going through this chicane, it was actually, you know, pretty fun. You could, you're only going through there like 22 miles an hour, but if you had an open road, it would be a, a little bit more fun. And yeah, coming out of this, just hitting those bumps every time, it just, it hurts after a little bit while. It doesn't do, the camera doesn't, doesn't do it justice. But yeah, so you guys, you got guys sitting up now and two guys are going. So, you know, that's, that's the winning move. It took, it took three moves to go, but it was it within, you know, a lap and a half that these guys established a break. So now you have two guys up the road and they ended up winning. Uh, we're chasing for a while, you know, here, um, at this point, but we, we couldn't pull it back. So now we're on the last lap and as you can see, we're out of turn two and I'm sitting way too far back, way too far back. So I'm just trying every way I can to move up. But right now we're just going too hot and I don't have the legs today. So yeah, I take, I was able to take this turn like real sharp and make up a spot or two, but yeah, a thousand Watts out of that corner. And you know, there's a little bit of like distance. Um, people are deciding who's going to pull but yeah, we're going 30, 33 miles an hour at this point. And I just, um, I mean, the Watts aren't super high, but I, I don't know. I just didn't have the legs. So yeah, I, I lose a couple spots with guys passing me cause I'm not moving up. If you're not moving up, you're moving back and that's just how it is. But I end up finishing this race 18th on the day. Uh, definitely not my best. And you know, I wasn't super happy with that, but that's bike racing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.